wonderful taste of Keith and Kristen Getty's new project. Uh, here's a look at the CD and DVD and let me read the inspiration from Psalm 57 verses 7 to 11. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make music. Awake my soul. Awake harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth." Well, the couple who are fulfilling that mandate are, uh, are here, and I want them right here. Come on in, Keith and Kristen. And let's see if we can catch up with you in the next few minutes. Maria, to be back with you, Moira. What a joy. <laughs> and what have you been up to? Traveling, traveling, traveling. All over the world. <laughs> Let me just grab a couple of highlights here. You Last year, you joined Franklin Graham for a crusade right. in yes, Belfast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And Belfast, and also one in South Carolina in as well in Charleston. Fantastic. And yeah. you performed at uh, Royal Albert Hall in London. Yeah, that was very exciting. Orchestra. <laughs> it was a big choir and orchestra. It was fantastic. Really great. You know, you're Irish. You have a home uh, on the Antrim coast. Yes. That's right. I was telling Kristen that my mother and I over there after her brain surgery thought we were going to do the Antrim coast, mm -hmm. which is a popular tourist thing. It's a big coast. Well, yeah, it goes on for quite a stretch. <laughs> you don't just sort you of do it in the afternoon. Exactly. And it was foggy for you that day, wasn't and, it? And, the, and the, the, it was the half day. Everything was shut. Oh, dear. So we couldn't even rent the bikes. But uh, <laughs> what a beautiful country. How much of it do you see these days? We only we're back about three times a year. Yeah, we but, love um, going home. It's it really is. great. And we grew up going to the North Antrim coast. We never got to live there. So now when we go home, we have a place there so we can just... Kristen Visited said, all. all my wedding gifts are there. <laughs> That's true. You've been married five years. I know, and my mum is very frustrated with me because some of them are actually still in boxes in the loft. <laughs> so well, you need to get those done. <laughs> I mean, here's the amazing thing. You had one year of marriage together mm -hmm. uh, before you discovered all the reasons God brought you together and life became very busy. That's right. When we first got married, we were singing, writing songs. Keith was producing, arranging. I am going to go to that band right now. <laughs> right now. They're going to run away with that camera. Can't do it? We can't do it. I was going to say, no children, but no, you have a band. Yet. But we have a band, yes. And you've picked, picked up, them up people along the way. Everywhere. <laughs> That's right. So we have um, a wonderful fiddle player, Deborah Clemmy from... Um, from Canada. The Irish fiddle player is from Canada. Yeah. And the Irish guy is now living in Canada. And then we got oh. three guys from Nashville. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you Peter Dustin. You literally Dustin. have just gathered along the way. And we kind of fly into different places and then um, put like a presentation of our different songs together for congregations to sing, as well as a lot more Irish music these days. We do a lot of jigs and reels and hornpipes horn pipes and different things like that. Yeah. And who better to bring it to us? <laughs> well, <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> this is a um, unique approach. Mm -hmm. uh, do these come together? Yeah. yeah. When yeah, we wanted to give people an insight behind the songs as well, so we took them to we took them actually to Upper Dyer Home on the, on the North Antrim Coast on the DVD. So you get to walk around the North Antrim Coast with us, and we talk about a lot of the writing behind the hymns and how we first tried them out in churches and how we changed them around and worked yeah. them, and really the, the genesis of each of the hymns and how they work in churches as well. So mm -hmm. it's both an insight into our background in Ireland and also behind the idea of writing hymns for the church today. So yeah. mm, we have to just get a little taste of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you do take us to your beautiful homeland mm -hmm. in the process of sharing the journey of how it's all come together. Let's take a look.